тому що у нас робота буде, у них немає. У нас пенсії будуть, у них немає. У нас піклування під, дітей, під людей, під пенсіонерів, під дітей буде, у них немає. У нас діти підуть до школи, до дитячих садків, у них вони будуть сидіти в підвалах. Бо вони нічого не вміють робити. І так, і саме так ми виграємо цю війну. Перше uh, all, uh, it's usual, uh, uh, usual rhetorics of uh western ukrainian politics they said that donbass is nothing donbass produced nothing uh, people here can do anything uh so we we heard it long years even before this war this rhetorics but uh it was you know some radical politics and they was not in power usually but the tragedy that this politics came to power in 2014 he look and say like Adolf Hitler I don't have another words I hate him obviously uh, yes yes I remember it I remember I watched the Ukrainian TV and uh, he said it Petro Poroshenko said it and I was like I want to grow up and kill him what does he say uh, and also I want to add that um, he said that we can do nothing that uh, we are nothing but uh, let's go back to 2014 when all the ukraine uh, in kiev they have meetings they do nothing all the day they have meetings they jumped in the maidan and at the same time it's at in bus fabrics magazines uh, all the companies are worked and the money from the bus is going all over ukraine and only by our money ukraine live for all these months while in kiev they have meetings and they jumped and after this he says that we can do nothing that donbass is nothing well, this rhetorics is uh, is a criminal rhetorics uh, also uh, the president of a country considers us a citizen uh, of the same country uh, uh, allows himself to say these things and uh, who did they stand against in that moment? They were stand against local people here, which was not very organized even. And they they didn't have a, a will for the moment. They didn't have a will to go to Donetsk. Uh, in 2014, they took Mariupol. They decided that to it will be better decision to divide econo uh, economics of Donbass. To divide it, they need to take Mariupol because it have a port, also huge steel production. So uh, the Ukrainian government made a decision to take Mariupol. They needed 40 minutes for that operation in 2014. Uh, for about Donetsk, in, the, in the, at that time, they just never came here. They were just uh, making more and more tense situation, arming us, and uh, uh, sh make us scared that they're going to come soon and everyone should be prepared. I personally would like to add something to this because a few people after me and Sasha made a video I was walking with this uh, little baby while we were shelled a few people asked so why do you walk with the baby outside uh, when there's shelling around that's exactly the answer to Poroshenko people are not going to live like rats you know they're brave enough they're not going to stay all day at home and that was a quiet day actually that was actually a really quiet day uh, Poroshenko wanted them to live inside in basements and no they're not they're brave enough to even take the child to walk inside there's risk but uh, the people here are going to continue to live and that's how they show basically the victory to to an insane statement like this I did have a question um, which is that you referenced the importance of uh, Donbass in the pre-2014 uh, Ukrainian economy now correct me if I'm wrong but there was a slogan Donbass Ravotiet Ukraina Madanayet, or if I, my Russian is correct, Donbass works and Ukraine Maidans. Could you tell us a bit about what that was uh, like? That sort of, both at Donbass's place in Ukraine, what it contributed to Ukraine, and um, how you, it, the rest of Ukraine was seen accordingly. You know, uh, Donbass is the region of uh, production something the region of uh, mines the region of factories and uh, this city uh, this working people of the city never sleeps they always uh, go in somewhere to work maybe uh, 
the city wakes up early in the morning and 5 a.m. You could see uh, big buses with, with uh, miners going somewhere to get mine out out of the mines, uh, etc. So, uh, city, uh, our region always looked at Kiev at this uh, orange revolution, at this uh, you know, situation in 2014. And we looked at them like uh, some, you know, crazy people. Why are you doing something when you can work and get your wealth by your hands? Uh, and uh, in uh, 2014, when uh, some people were killed on Maidan, and when we saw uh, Kyiv burning uh, and destroying, we didn't want uh, these people to come here. We didn't want them to destroy our own, our native city because we built it by our hands and of course we continue to work even when it was uh, you know protest meetings etc it was always on holidays because uh, during the week people was work no matter what has happened in the country the bus is really working reg region i'm from a small city in donbass which called yanakivo and we have a large metal factory, uh, which never stops their work. It, this factory was under the shelling uh, at the war uh, many times. A lot of people has died uh, in the war from shelling of Ukrainian army, but uh, it never stops their work because if we stop uh, the work, the um, restart the process will uh, take a long time and uh, we can do like this. We need to work every day. Uh, we are very brave and very strong people and Ukraine can do anything with this. And I want to tell you, this is a secret, your first uh, project where I tell this. I even have a, tat have a tattoo, even my parents doesn't know. Uh, in my heart, uh, I wrote Yenakivsky Metallurgicheski Zavod, which translates Yenakivo Metal Factory, because metal plant, because I'm proud of people that work here and I'm proud of that factory, uh, which uh, in my country, in my city. I can say uh, about uh, working in Donbass and uh, meeting uh, Ukrainians in Kyiv only like uh, a viewer, because I see this process from Moscow. Um, and I can I can analyze it only now when I see it in, uh, see it with my eyes here, um, and uh, we work a lot uh, with the uh, my uh, a lot of min with miners people uh, who work every day uh, uh, un uh, under uh, attacks uh, don't matter. Uh, they work now here in this situation uh, in cities uh, where even uh, journalists and old men uh, do not want to go. Uh, so they, yes, uh, they are really brave people. And uh, also I can say about uh, Ukrainians uh, who leave uh, their country uh, after uh, this special military operation, uh, because I've I've been visited uh, some countries after uh, the beginning when I have a rehabilitation after uh, I was uh, wandering, wandered, uh, wandered, uh, yes, uh, difficult word. Uh, so I saw Ukrainians uh, in Europe and I can say that uh, um, they have no, uh, fi uh, no problems with money like uh, the Western um, uh, journalists uh, show it for us, uh, but in Donbass, uh, people live sometimes with no money. So uh, we have problems uh, with uh, like money traffic from big Russia to small regions now because of uh, war. Uh, and so here people have uh, a re um, really small uh, payment for their work and uh, a lot of people's uh, a lot of people from western uh, region of ukraine live with a lot of money in europe they have a beautiful life uh, but in stories uh, they every day are crying uh, 
uh, about bad Russia, uh, about uh, mm, yes, uh, people who show show off uh, in Donbas, uh, and uh, it is happy. I think it w- it uh, uh, it must be happy for Europeans also because you see Ukrainians uh, um, in your cities and you can uh, see uh, how bad uh, is uh, their life in Europe. And you are helping the people who uh, do not need uh, money as uh, Donbass need. I would like to add one interesting st- fact story. I mean, uh, for journalists, if you want to uh, make video about uh, something, uh, some damages in the center of the city, you have only hours before uh, some people came and fixed it. Uh, that's how uh, city services are working under the shelling in the center of the city still. Sometimes uh, uh, the consequence of shelling repaired before journalists arrive. So they cannot uh, do report because uh, there's no evidence left. Yeah. <laughs> that's how, we, for there, during 10 years, that's how we build uh, our system uh, to, to manage.